Good morning, how is everybody? I hope you're all really, really well. Welcome back to the channel. I thought I would bring January favourites. I'm hoping to do a monthly favourites because obviously when you own a small business, you are kind of looking to invest in all the best products and get the best deals and make the most out of your business. So I thought this would be an ideal video for any of my startup groomers or groomers that are currently working and want some ideas. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is not really like I haven't bought this in January, but I get so many questions about it. So I thought I would share it with you. It is one of my favorite products ever, ever, ever. I'm really, really impressed with it. And I got it from a grooming convention called Groom Fest in the summer. And it was a really good investment and I'm super glad I bought it. So I was at the, why are grooming brands so difficult to say? Artero. I don't know if that's how you say it. Artero. I was at their stand because Georgia Fuller was there, who was on Pooch Perfect, really wanted to meet her and just having a little nose at some of the products they had for sale. And all of the girls had these beautiful tunics on um, with little pink poodles all over them. I don't really know if you can see that. And I was like, is that from here? Can I have one? Do you sell them? And they were like, yes, we do. I can't remember how much it is. I think maybe 40 pounds. I don't think they have this exact one on the website, but they really, really need to stock it because I get so many questions. But they do have another purple one, which is super cute with dogs on, which I would probably be drawn towards. But why I love this is it's zip up. Um, you can put it on over a jumper. So you can have it like undone or you can zip it up and it's got a pocket, which I think is fabulous. I love this, one because it's quite lightweight, obviously waterproof for with the dogs, but it's lightweight enough that in the summer you're not boiling, but also it's just great that you can layer it so then in the winter you can wear a jumper underneath it, which is what I've been doing. So many people have been saying, where's your jumper from? But it's actually just this with a jumper underneath. But I love it, this is my favorite grooming tunic. I definitely invest in one of those. I feel like I get a lot of questions about that one, so hopefully that's answered that for some of you. As a lot of you probably already know, or if you're setting up, may not know, grooming is really, really expensive. And just one single blade, one little blade like this, will range between about 40 and 60 pounds. And you'll probably need quite a few of those, and they break, so you've got to consistently replace them or get them sharpened. A few of my blades broke over Christmas, and I needed to replace them, but I wanted to find the best ones for the best pricing so that I was maximizing, obviously, my income for my business. I kept searching, all of them were around 45 to 50 pounds. And the ones that I was using, I was using Andis ones. I just find that the teeth snap off all of the time and it's really frustrating because then that's dangerous when you're clipping. Um, so that had happened with two of my blades and I needed to replace them. And I wanted to find a blade that's obviously the most reasonable cost for my business. And I don't know why I'd never looked on this website before, but if any of you are groomers or new groomers, check out Scissor Boutique. It's incredible. They have the biggest range of scissors. Don't know why I'd never thought to look on there for blades. And I had a little look and then these came up. Right, I never know how to say this name again. My grooming companies really need to, we need to sort the names out because I can't say any of them. I don't know if it's Gibe, Gibe, or Jeep, this brand, I don't know if you can see. Now I have two shears from this brand, which are buttercut, and they are just dreamy, like the best scissors you could wish for, just really, really lovely, amazing. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna try these because I know that this brand's really high quality, but I wanted to show you them because look how stunning this packaging is. Individually packed. They were actually wrapped again inside the box. So they come in these two boxes. Please excuse them um, because they have been in the salon. So they have got a bit dirty. I saved them because I thought that is so stunning. I think if you're a creative or artistic, you really appreciate things like this. But I thought, wow, that's, that was beautifully packed. It also had like tissue paper and another bit of paper after they'd been oiled in inside the packaging. So you know that the blades are really gonna be looked after on delivery. And the service was just excellent. And also they were 40 pounds, which is like on the lower end, like cost wise for the blades. And I'm really, really impressed. None of the, none of the teeth have snapped off so far, touch wood. Um, and I've been using them for the past month. So I was really impressed with them. Okay, the next item I'm gonna show you is 
A product by Eye Groom, which if you've been following me for a while, know that I'm super passionate about this brand. I really love what they bring to the table. I think it smells incredible. It's high quality, it's ethical, vegan friendly, and just a really, really good brand. I think the results really speak for themselves and even my clients feel that. They, it's, it's really hard to get hold of the full range in England because it's an American based brand. They released one of the scents that I've been wanting to try for ages into the UK on Christie's. It was the Banana Eye Groom Shampoo. If you like banana milkshake or banana scents, I know not everybody loves banana, but personally, it's literally one of my favourite smells. <sighs> this is so good. I know some brands say they're something and then they never end up smelling like it, or they smell a bit like it, but not really, but this literally smells like banana milkshake and I have been loving it. Uh, also find if you pump this, one pump of this and one pump of the Argan eye cream, which I also love, which is a green bottle, obviously doesn't smell like banana, but it smells fantastic. So um, yeah, this one does double up and I've been absolutely loving this product. This one's actually really good for dry skin, shine, and just like adding some moisture into the coat. So yeah, if a dog's got a drier coat or is a little bit flaky, this one's gonna be ideal to use on them as well. Next item I'm gonna show you guys is something that I have already shared on here before, but it's something that I absolutely love and I use every single day without fail. I use it in the bath and out the bath, so I really feel like this is a must. It is the Sprat Comb by Colin Taylor. It is Diddy, very small little comb. But oh my goodness, this is going to really help with so many aspects of your groom. This little comb is ideal for like if they've got like crust in their tear ducts that won't come out, especially if it's kind of tough. If you moisten that in the bath and then just gently tease it out with this, this really, really helps get it out. I've absolutely loved using this for that aspect. Also, when you're drying a your muzzle or you're starting to blow dry a face, this is gonna really help you drag all of that hair forward and pull out any little knots or any other little bits of like food or anything stuck in the muzzle. I honestly use this on every single dog every single day. Obviously not like Labradors and things. This is a fantastic little product and yeah, I wouldn't be without it. This is the one thing that if I can't find, I'm like hunting around the salon for it because I use it all of the time. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more grooming product before I move on to like skincare and beauty things that I've been loving day to day. And it's a snuffle mat, just mine's a bit destroyed because I use this on dogs that find grooming quite challenging. So they get a bit excited and do kind of tear this apart. I have shown this before on here, but I do think it's really, really important. And I do feel like I'm using it more than ever in the salon when things are getting a little bit tough or too overstimulating for the dogs. It's a fantastic way to divert their attention and bring out something positive in their grooming experience because grooming is really, really <laughs> overstimulating and hard. And sometimes the dogs need a positive distraction so that it does make the, the experience that little bit better. I got this one off Amazon and it was 19 pounds. It's huge, it works a tree. I use it on puppies, I use it on dogs that have behavior problems that need some positive stimulation. I have just put it in the wash, but it's already hairy. It's, it's really nice because it folds right up and it's got a little handle on top so you can hook it up. But it's absolutely huge. Um, it's got all of these different compartments, so like that's a little bit harder for them to get out and these little crossover ones. Um, this one's been a little bit destroyed, <laughs> and so is this one, and then obviously you hide treats all around in here. I have also been using this on the table while I'm drying a dog. I know a lot of people will dry it on the floor, which I do sometimes, but I do like to teach dogs to be on the table because obviously my back's a lot better if I'm stood up grooming. I'm finding popping this on the table with treats in while I'm drying is giving that really positive, rewarding feeling while they're having something done to them that is a little bit scary and a little bit intimidating. So I would highly recommend a snuffle mat or a lick mat in the salon. It's gonna really, really help you out with dogs that are that little bit more challenging or are having a harder time being groomed. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of some of the bows that I've got for Valentine's Day, which I think you're going to adore. So I like to have seasonal bows. I do like to give little bows out to my clients like day to day. Um, I just buy them off Amazon, just some little ones. But if it's a theme like Christmas or Valentine's or Halloween, I like to have themed bows that I can give out to my clients because they're super important to me. And like, this is a creative fun business for me. So I want to add that little touch for all of my dogs. I ordered some Valentine's bows. 
this is a sneak peek for February. So I've got the pink ones with little white hearts on and then my logo in the middle. I got some red ones, um, which is sweet. And then I also got these gorgeous ones. I, I wasn't really a fan of these when I seen them in the picture, but in real life, they're actually really quite nice. Oh, I've just noticed she's given me some free mini ones as well. How kind. Um, and then I've got these like multicolored ones as well. Uh, which look, they just look really sweet on the dog. So that's coming up in February, but I thought I'd quickly show you guys now. Thank you all so much for coming to my channel. I really appreciate all of you. I'm really excited that I have people interested in grooming. It's super, super, super exciting. If you have enjoyed it, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below because I love connecting with everybody and I will see you in the very next, in the very next video.